everyone and welcome back to my channel Terrain's Arts. How is everyone? Well, um, I did a circle swipe starburst I think I called it and um, I really liked how it turned out. So I'm going to try another one in greens this time. Um, and I'm doing this as a gift for somebody so hopefully it turns out. So this time I'm using um, global paints mixed with this craft glue PVA so I've done it um, 60-40 or 70-30 depending on what I wanted the, um, the thickness to be of the paint so I've put a circle in the middle and um, I'm going to try this time swiping on a dry canvas. So this is completely dry. Never done it on a dry canvas before. It may be a disaster. It may not be. So I'm going to start with this colour, which is, these are all global paints. Unless I say differently. And, um, oh, paper towel, the orange me. I need to put them somewhere. I'm going to put this around the middle and then a bit on the outside like that. And if the table starts moving around, it's because I've got a dog and a cat underneath me. These paints have been sitting for a while, which is the other reason I'm hoping um, that they turn out. And I want to use them up. Some of them have been freshly made, but a lot of them haven't. So that's Dark Sea. And it is very warm and muggy today, and it looks outside like it's going to start pouring any minute. But it's really muggy and horrible too. So this is um, phalo green. And then this colour here, I had to make up another batch of this because the one I had in my bottles was... Because I use water and I don't always use distilled water, sometimes if the paints are left for a long time, they get a bit um, mouldy. So I had to make up a fresh batch of this. This is called Tahini. I've got the cat rubbing itself on my legs. This colour is a primary element called Lemon Squeeze <laughs> and it's this very beautiful colour. And this is a prism pour called Wintergreen. So that's this colour here. And I only made up a really small amount of these because um, I'm not using a lot, I'm just using it on this canvas or maybe another one as well. I'm sorry guys, she's tickling my legs as she's rubbing herself <laughs> on the underneath there. Strange cat. This colour is turquoise. This is a global paint.
And for my pop of colour, I'll just have to check to see if my camera is recording. Here it is. I get a bit neurotic about it because um, sometimes I've recorded, or well, I thought I've recorded, and I haven't. So, so I'm doing red. This is um, warm red. The warm red is actually mixed with the other pouring medium that I used because um, my warm red had to be thrown out. Just a little bit of white. of gold because everything is better with gold in I reckon okay that's enough paint for now if I need some more later I will put some more in move all those over there so I can move my turntable around I made up some new flow troll in here and I'm going to swipe. Now, I've never swiped on a dry canvas before, so this could be interesting. So I'm going to put some flow troll on there. I'm just using these little ones. Hmm, that's interesting. Got some nice cells on there. like these cells that I'm getting, they're nice. This new batch of flow troll is, um, yeah. Now that's not good because it's a different colour and it will ruin the middle so I need to get that out. <laughs> I'll have to paint that middle again. That's okay, I can do that. I did it with the other one. Just do this one again. Right, just move these. I'm holding my canvas in place and give it a twirly whirly round so I can get to the other side. My makeshift breaks there. Oh goodness. It is really, really humid. I am sweating bucket loads here. I'll do that one again because that one isn't great either. And this one.
having these cells, and I have to do that one again, which is a shame because I don't want to ruin those cells that I've already got there, but it's just a bit small. That's better. I have to keep disappearing to wipe my face. I might have to put the air conditioner on because it's um, really hot. Move my brakes again. Twirl it around to this side. My brakes back on. <laughs> It's actually nice using um, a turntable when you're doing stuff and not have to actually physically pick up your painting and move it around. Makes it much easier for me. This one. Let's do this one again. Like that. I'm liking this so far. What do you think? I'm not kind of a green person, but um, which I've said before, but there are lots of people who really love green. So. Okay, so I'm going to do any more flow troll. I've got a few nice cells coming up, not a lot, which is strange. I need to wipe my face again. I might have to put the air conditioner on after I finish this. Okay, so we've got one of these. And I'm going to sit down and I might, uh, I think, this one is here. I've got a little spatula just in case I decide to do some more swipes. I'm going to put those back over there so I don't lose them. And I've got this little wedge that I'm going to use and I'm going to do some just going to move those out the way because I need to be able to move this around. Now, I don't know how these are going to dry because these are um, mixed with glue. But hopefully it will um, dry nicely and not crack. I'm not um, wiping this off in between because I just want the colours to actually flow into each other. great oh I really hope this dries okay and it doesn't crack that's my turn table thing I've just got it on a foam um, like a foam plate on top of my turntable so it's not the sturdiest of things when I get round to it I will get a piece of wood or something to make it a bit firmer okay so I've done that 
Um, now I'm going to do some twirls. I love twirls and things. I've got a sharp one. Yes, for some reason it's got glitter on it. Okay, let's do some swirls around here. Oops. That wasn't clever, was it? I think I had more than enough paint on here. It's good to have them not um, in the twill in the middle, not to have it dripping. Oh, okay, guys, I'm going to play with this for a little while and then I'm going to come back and show you the result because I don't want this video to be so long that you get bored. So I shall be back in 20 minutes for me, probably 10 seconds for you guys. So I'll see you then. Bye for now my painting partner on the floor <laughs> so guys this is what it looks like wet I'm happy with it the paint around the middle is quite thick so I'm hoping it's not going to crack when it dries given I've used glue and water but I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out I think my favorite part is this part here with those really nice cells didn't really get a lot of cells elsewhere got some over there so fingers crossed that it dries nicely and that I can varnish it and send it to my friend so thank you guys for tuning in and I'll be back with you later to show you the dried result. Hi everyone and welcome back. So this is the dried painting and it actually dried better than I thought it was given I was using old paints. So let's go in for a closer look. So I'll start up here. So it didn't go all the way to the edge, but I didn't want it to. And I've got these nice swirls in here with the, just a little pop of red that I really like. And I was going to emboss a um, tree of life in the middle, but I couldn't find one. So I just repainted the black because uh, the black, the center black, because my flow troll is mixed with Amsterdam black, but I don't paint the background with Amsterdam black. I use global paints. So I just painted the middle so that it's the same color as the outside because it got a little bit of flow troll on it. But I'm really pleased with the results. I really like it, even though I'm not a green person. And I think um, I'm hoping my friend will like it. So thank you guys. I think I need, might need to do these dots again because you can't really see them. And I wanted them to be really green. So I might do those again. But besides that, I will leave it to um, cure for a couple of weeks. A couple of three, four weeks maybe, depending on what the weather's like. And then I will give it some varnish 
and it should really pop. So thanks for tuning in and until next time, take care of yourself, your family and the people you love. Bye for now.